Hello, my name is Lena Fan, and this is my presentation on thresher sharks, also known as Elopius. There are three thresher shark species, the Atlantic, also known as the common, the pelagic, and the big eye. Despite one species of the thresher being specifically named pelagic, all three species are in fact pelagic. There is speculation that there could be a fourth species. However, since thresher sharks aren't commonly studied in the field, scientists have yet to gather enough information to prove this. Within these three species, they're all ovoviviparous, which is a form of internal fertilization. This means that the embryos that develop within the egg will remain inside the mother until they're ready to hatch. When the young sharks release their yolk sacs inside the mother, they'll start to feed on their mother's unfertilized eggs. This is also known as oophagy. All thresher shark species use a strategy called stunning in order to hunt fish and other small animals. In this process, thresher sharks use their long tail in a whip-like motion to stun, sometimes even kill, and then capture their prey. Thresher sharks are endothermic, meaning they're dependent on their own internal heat generation. Unique to thresher sharks, they're able to produce heat by enhancing their metabolism rates and with muscle shivering. Although thresher sharks aren't threatened, they do have the same main threat, human fishing, which I'll go more into detail for each thresh thresher shark species in the next slides. Thresher sharks are also seen to use another method of capturing prey. This is known as breaching. This is when a shark propels themselves out of the water to catch faster moving prey, such as seabirds or seals. This is pictured with a common thresher. This is the common thresher, which is the largest out of all. They live up to 19 to 50 years and are found in northwest Atlantic Ocean, ranging from Newfoundland to Cuba. The species can reach up to 20 feet long and weigh over 500 pounds. They eat a variety of pelagic schooling fish, such as sardines, mackerel, or juvenile tuna. Occasionally, they'll feed on squid and use breaching to capture seabirds. The common thresher typically produces around two to four offspring. The common thresher is managed by NOAA Fisheries and the Atlantic Highly Migratory Species Fishery Management Plan. This makes it so that permits are required and there is also a limited amount of permits available. Shark dealers are also required to attend an Atlantic Shark Identification Workshop. There was also a study done where scientists tagged five common threshers and monitored their movement patterns and habit habitat preferences. It showed that at nighttime movement was above the thermal cline, which ranged in a depth of 15 to 20 meters. It also showed that during the daytime, sharks were much deeper, with a maximum dive depth of 320 meters. The pelagic thresher typically grows up to 10 feet, weighing around 150 pounds. This makes it the smallest thresher species. They're seen in warm and temperate offshore waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, including the Mediterranean Sea. Adult pelagic thresher sharks have a tail that exceeds the length of its actual body. Unlike the common thresher, Pelagic thrushers give birth to only two very large pups. Pelagic thrushers must swim forward in order to pass oxygenated water over their gills. This means that if they're captured, they'll often die, despite whether being released quickly or not. The species can be in trouble in the near future because it has little legal protection in all areas that in it inhabits. The big eye thresher reaches up to 16 feet and weighs over 350 pounds. 
The big eye thresher has a maximum of two pups, similar to the common thresher. Unlike the common thresher, the big eye thresher is seen to reach at least 500 meters. Since this species is seen at surface levels and very deep waters, the teeth of the big eye thresher is significantly larger and sharper than those of other threshers. Just like the common thresher, the species spends most of its day in deep waters and comes up at night to hunt. They're distributed in tropical waters off the coast of Portugal to South Africa, as well as the coast of Northwest Australia, New Zealand, Southern Japan, and Taiwan. The big eye thresher is at risk more than any other thresher due to its slow reproduction rate. In fact, the reproduction rate of this species is one of the lowest out of all shark species. It takes up to 10 to 13 years for the shark to reach maturity. Here's an example of the thresher shark using its tail to capture prey. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. And I just wanted to say that there are little conservation efforts and information about thresher sharks, but if you'd like to learn more, then I suggest to get out there and become a field researcher. Thank you again.